know, offense and special teams kind of got some, some drives together early and put some points on the board. How does that help your, you execute what you guys want to do defensively? Well, it really depends on how the offense treats it. So sometimes uh, when, when you get a lead in the game, uh, offenses, uh, they'll become more one-dimensional. Uh, well, I would say, yeah, the, I mean, really they revert. You, you see a lot less run game. You see a lot less play action. Uh, you see more drop back. Uh, you may see some screens and draws in there. Uh, the run game really kind of shrinks down a little bit. Uh, and then there's other teams that uh, they'll just run their offense. So sometimes it, you know, and then when you get down to the bitter end where it's a three score game and you only have, you know, potentially three possessions left, then, you know, if time's an issue, then teams will, you know, go to their hurry up or two minute, which, Again, a lot of times that's that's a heavy drop back pass base game. So um, it, it can be an effect. Uh, it can have a little effect. Um, I think more often than not, you see teams revert to more of their drop back pass game. Um, so, I mean, when you kind of know that that's coming, you know, and it, it takes out a lot of variables. With, with your background as a DB's coach, does it, do you like being able to get deep into your sub packages? Uh, I would just say my, my, my background as a competitor, I always like having a lead. That's, okay. you know, <laughs> that, 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 that's a good thing. Um, you know, um, I, I think, you know, you're, you're always, it, it doesn't matter the situation. It's more execution. So whether um, you need to get the ball back um, and you're down or whether it's a tight game and you're, let's say, call it normal defense, or you're ahead and you're playing a certain way, I think it ultimately comes down to execution. So I think that's kind of what you're, you're, you're striving for is good execution, um, good play, good fundamentals, good techniques in all those situations. And I think it varies a little bit from game to game based on situation and based on what, what opponents do or how they perceive that you're going to attack them. One more than Omar. Thing. Uh, you guys were able to pull some of your, your 100% snap takers, I call them, out of the game late. Is that something, an advantage that you, you look look for? Is, it, is there an advantage to it at all, or is it just kind of something you do? Like, you know, I'm talking like, like X, Byron, Colin yeah. kind of came out of the game at the end there. Um, again, I, I think it's, you know, situational based. Um, uh, you know, sometimes if the, if the game's in hand, and you can give those guys a, a rest or get other guys an opportunity, which a lot of times that coincides. You know, guys that have taken a lot of reps, you'd like to get some reps off of them. And guys that haven't had as many opportunities, you'd like to get them out there and see what they can do in live action. I need to get to the bottom of mow your own yard, <laughs> mow your own lawn. Uh huh. Where does it come from? Who says it? Because Jalen Phillips basically said, said that's something that's preached around here. A and what's, the, what's the, the, the focus, the emphasis of it? Well, I would, I would say, you know, the, I think the premise of it is to do your own job, do your job, and trust that, you know, other people are going to do their job. So, like, um, you know, I, I think guys, uh, coaches, try different ways to relate. Uh, you know, whether it's cliches or, you know, phrases or sayings, you know, that everybody understands. I, th I think ultimately what we're trying to do is to get 11 guys to see one picture through the same lens and then trust that their individual part that they're doing in that is for the greater good of the entire defense, if you will. So I think it's just, you know, taking care of your, your, your job, doing your job, Focusing on that and not worrying about some what somebody else is doing, and not and I would say even more than that is trusting that that person is going to do their job. So when you do your job collectively, it fits together as a group.